Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today I would like to start by saying Happy New Year, guys. Thank you for making 2020 such a great year, even though it was very hard for a lot of people, including myself, with all this pandemic situation going on. And a lot of things that simply got in the way as well. And I was also very busy during the months of October, November, and December. That's why you guys didn't see a lot of activity in my channel. That's because I'm a postman. And during those times, we get very busy normally, but we know that 2020 was not a normal year we had the pandemic going on and there were a lot of packages coming in including medicine a lot of medical equipment so on and so forth so we were three times more packed than usual so yes i do apologize for that but anyways we are starting the year here fresh with a very nice little product that i got from amazon via the prime service so here we have the axa bp1 this is a 144 dollar speaker projector so yes you can use it as a bluetooth speaker you can also use it as a power bank and of course to project your movie so now this one has only 100 lumens now something that stands out on this projector is the fact that it gives you six hours of usage projecting with the 12,000 million battery that is built in that's why you can use it as a uh, power bank you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. It should last at least 24 hours or it will last six hours straight using it as a projector. Again, a very nice little compact box here and on the side, again, giving us more information um, you know, and features of this little unit. So let's go ahead and open it up. And then inside here, we can see that it is well covered, I will say, very cool. And we have the user guide or the manuals as a lot of you will call it. I would say that you should take a glance at this just to know what the uh, buttons are for and, and whatnot. So uh, it's quite easy to use anyways. So inside here we have a little divider where we find a micro USB uh, charging cable. This is again only for charging. Uh, we get here the little power brick and then we get a uh, mirroring uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. Now this only is for Android devices. Unfortunately, I'm currently using the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so I don't have this capability. But if you have an Android device, you can use it by connecting it uh, straight into the projector. And uh, that's actually a little bit more accurate than having the wireless mirroring. Uh, this one, you know, is going to give you like real time action um, of what you're viewing on your device instead of having that lag that sometimes we see on other products. And finally, here we have what you guys are waiting to see. This thing, guys, is super, super small in the sense that it fits in your hand very easily. It is super portable as well. So I'm just putting everything back in the box here. So on the front here of this projector, we had the Axe logo. And also we can see here the little lens for the projector. And as you guys can observe, it fits in my hand perfectly well. So on the sides, as I mentioned before, is where we had the two 12 watts speakers and they sound quite great. And I like the design to where they have them pointing to the sides. So if you're watching a movie, it gives you that stereo effect which is really cool. If we look here on the back side is where we have all of the ports. We have the little micro port, USB port, excuse me. This is for power only. We have the USB-C for mirroring, as I mentioned before. We have one HDMI port. We have a USB port here. Now the USB uh, port, a lot of people on Amazon, I don't know why, they were mentioning that this cannot be used when you're having the um, projector mode activated on here and that is incorrect i have here my little amazon fire stick and i was able to get power even using it as a projector so again this is very uh, confusing at least from some of the reviews that i uh, read but no you can still use it normally you simply plug in your fire stick here connect it here and it'll actually power it without having any issues whatsoever we have a little focus wheel keep in mind that this unit does not come with a keystone correction so you need to adjust it accordingly and what i did is that i had to uh, elevate it quite high in order to get that perfect image but now the focus wheel does work quite nicely 
Then we have here the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have a little reset button on here. And then uh, here we have the uh, switch where it allows you to use it as a power bank. You turn it off or have it on Bluetooth or projector mode. And finally, we have the little TF card slot. And that's pretty much it here. Uh, this little vent here is for cooling purposes. We have a little fan in there. And then on the front here, we have another vent so that the air flows and it cools down the lamp. Towards the bottom here, we have a little tripod uh, mounting hole right here, which is really cool with some rubbers as well in case you place this on a surface, it doesn't slide around. And here on the top side, well, we have the um, projector button. You have to press and hold it to activate the projector. Otherwise, it'll go just into Bluetooth mode. Then we have here a little um, LED light ring, and this is for the battery. And it's really cool because it works quite well and it has like little dots as you guys can observe and each dot uh, symbolizes the percentage and uh, they do blink so it'll blink completely all the way around and then it'll go back to where it is currently being charged. So here we have the little volume up and down. Uh, we got the selectors and the OK. This is also a play and pause for when you're using it for Bluetooth music. Um, we have here a little dedicated Bluetooth button with a back key. And uh, this is the only thing that you guys will need in order to navigate uh, through the system that comes built in inside this projector. It doesn't have a remote control as you observe from this unboxing. And I gotta say guys, this thing for the price, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, the projection quality on this is only 640 by 360. It doesn't have a lot of projection, uh, you know, resolution, but it looks great and it sounds very, very good. And it gives you that better experience just because of the fact that you're getting nice audio coming from it. Being only 100 lumens, you can't be, uh, you know, getting a lot of light inside of the room. Otherwise, that's going to affect the projection quality. I would say that in a pitch black environment, it looks quite great. One of the first features that we are going to test here right now is the Bluetooth capability. So all we do is just turn it on like so. Bluetooth mode. So right now it's in Bluetooth mode. So all you do is go here into your smartphone. Then you go into settings. We go here into Bluetooth and then we wait. And there we can see it, the AXA BP1. Connected. And that's all you do. So now you can increase the volume from here. So this is the volume increase. Okay, and from here you play your music and that's pretty much it. Then we have here the projector mode in which all you have to do is hold and press it for a few seconds, like I said before, and then it'll go into the projector mode. And now you're gonna see that in no time, it'll turn on right here. So there we can see it. It has turned on into projector mode. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this, but there is a little bit of a fan noise coming from the backside of the projector. Nothing dramatic. As a matter of fact, it's really, really low. One of the lowest that I've heard in a very long time. And when you're playing music or a movie, it's not noticeable whatsoever. And now for the power bank mode, all we do is flick this little switch all the way to the left when you're looking at it from the backside. Connect your source. In this case, we're using a wireless charger. And now we place here as an example, the iPhone and voila, it is currently charging. Keep in mind that this will disable your projection capabilities and also your Bluetooth. It is only for charging purposes. Okay, so here we have the projector turned on and these are the settings that you will be greeted with once you turn it on and they are very simple. As a matter of fact, one of the easiest that I've seen in quite a long time. So we have videos and videos is of course for when you have a TF card installed, you have your movies on there, you can simply play them by clicking on videos and it'll find the file as long as it is supported. Then we have the same thing here for music. We have then the actual settings where it will allow you to change things like the pictures. So I do apologize here for the distortion of the camera. This is not how the projector looks. It's just the camera effect uh, when uh, recording here the projector screen. So 
here we have the picture mode. Like I said before, we have plenty of options that we have seen in the past with many projectors out there. So this is not something that I'm gonna really get into. Uh, the same thing goes here for sound. We have the sound mode right now, have it on standard. I have everything um, as factory. So that way you guys can hear and see what to expect right out of the box. And of course we have here um, options and this is to change the language in case you have to. And there's a few supported on here again, I do apologize here for the distortion so there's about I would say nine different ones I think there's actually more if we click on the arrows here to the side yeah there's a whole bunch of them that are supported on here of course mine will be English uh, then you can also restore to factory defaults we have slideshow time and finally the software version if we click down more uh, we don't get any more settings on here so uh, there we have it for options and then if we go back here into the settings we go into inputs now well this is where you can either enable the um, HDMI port it says digital AV but it's in reality the HDMI port you can see the picture on there and then we have the mirror uh, this is for when you plug it in directly. Now this only supports Android and it doesn't support Apple as of right now, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I can try the adapter and see if that works, but so far based on what I read, it is not supported. So then we have here uh, the brightness. When we check on it, we have three different modes. We have echo, standard, and boost. Uh, boost will be, well, the brightest. And then uh, echo will be the one that gives you the true six hours of battery lifetime uh, with this projector being fully charged. I would say that if you want to keep the battery at a good, uh, you know, lasting time and you want to uh, also get that good brightness, keep it at standard and you will be more than satisfied. But I have to say that for 100 lumens, the perfect projection uh, size that I would recommend is about 45 to 50 inches approximately uh, that's it here for the settings basically uh, you know everything that we have uh, from AXA and now what I'm going to do is project it at about 50 inches and put on a movie so that way we can hear the quality of the speakers and at the same time see the projection quality as well We are moving. Four alpha, repeat four alpha. Window seat is teams on all sides. Copy that. guys so there we have it for the unboxing and the review as well as the demo of this little AXA BP1 projector well now I'm gonna give you my personal opinion about uh, this little unit the things that I like and I don't like well first of all I like the fact that it has a big battery and it does last about in boost mode it lasts about four hours and a half watching movies which is great and on echo mode it can go up to six hours to me projecting that's quite amazing for a battery projector and also I like the fact that it comes already with a built-in speakers bluetooth speaker so you can use this as a standard bluetooth speaker and also you can listen to your projection uh, straight from here you don't have to adapt any other external speakers so again that makes it absolutely amazing and uh, very uh, portable as well and uh, Yes, those are the things that I like and also the fact that it has a power bank built in makes it amazing. The fan noise is really low and again overall it is built very nicely. Now for the things that I don't like is the fact that first of all it doesn't have a remote control. Second, it doesn't have a keystone correction. And third, it only projects at 640 by 360 which is half of 720p. So in 2021 I think that's quite low. There's a lot of uh, competitors out there especially or specifically from Kodak. You know that Kodak is coming with a lot of tiny projectors and uh, the only thing about those projectors is the fact that they don't have 
uh, good speakers first of all and second they don't have a long lasting battery so this is where the AXA stands out it is a projector for those who are just looking for immediate entertainment something that is truly portable and that uh, you know looks quite cool you guys can't deny the fact that this looks quite amazing and it's built very nicely it has a weight to it and uh, for $144 I mean I gotta say it's quite a steal uh, to be honest with you uh, other projectors at about 100 lumens they go for double the price uh, more but now again this one only has a resolution of 640 by 360 so that's the only uh, you know major disappointment however when you set up the proper focus and the proper size which is about 50 inches I would recommend it looks quite okay and also uh, you need to have a pitch black environment so that way you can truly enjoy the quality of this projector uh, now it doesn't mean that you can't have a lamp on if you do it will still look good but the colors will get distorted just a little bit. Um, other than that, guys, I have to recommend this thing if you're looking for portability, something that has everything built in, in one. Uh, keep in mind that this is also a power bank, something that I also liked, so you can charge your devices directly from here. So yes, it is great for, I would say, things like camping, uh, you know, if you're on a trip and, you know, you just want to have that option. This is great, especially at about $144. With this being said, let me know down below what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and also click on the bell icon so that way you don't miss future reviews coming very shortly. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next one.